Yeah, you know, in-house we did some uh, lighting changes too, so I, I may have talked about it. We did a lot of LED lighting, changed out the old lights, and there was wall lights around there that we just finished up with some new, the white, white uh, LED lighting. So it's also a lot brighter in there too. Yeah, thank you. It looks, it's much brighter. It's good. Yeah, yeah and I didn't hear any complaints in the fall or the winter. I, maybe one thing somebody asked about, you know, whom people should contact if there's a problem, but then I never heard anything more about it, so. Okay, good. Yeah, so I, was I was there all through the fall and the winter, so. Looks like, are you taking us all the way through up to the telephone? Well, I'll take the summer little elementary walk-in trees that are, uh, I call her Gina G. Gina Garantina, Garantina, what's Gina's last name? Gertana. Gertana. Um, expressed interest in uh, putting in a new walk-in freezer in Soto Elementary's warehouse. Uh, a couple reasons. One, the one that's there is probably late 80s, um, and it's a little undersized. We can uh, make one, a new one bigger. We put a, a bigger one in there, and then she can use it for extra storage. Uh, so there's a couple times a year when either freezers break down or she just gets an overload of food where she needs this extra storage. So again, replacing this one, uh, making it a little bigger, uh, giving her a new one for extra storage. Uh, this is also, I think, um, monies that she has that she wants to spend on this out of her budget. So you're reviewing it, are you at it, or do we need to vote, or are you just giving us a report on this? Is this uh, something that's going to be... Do we need to vote about to, to buy to bid? Oh, this is for a bid, okay. We, we're going to go out to bid for contractors, yeah, we'll, we'll have Dewey involved with that. It's, I think it's already in the prime, like, yeah. in the process. Yep. Yep. Sorry. We just wanted to give you an update that it was happening. Yeah. So, you, was that, that'll appear in, on the April agenda then, to... Uh, Approve. People bid. No, May. May bid. Come in May. Come in May. Too early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have another week of advertising first. Okay. But it'll be paid for through the uh, food service fund. So doesn't look like anybody. Any, any questions for anybody about that? Okay. On to number five. Well, we have the bid results in for the uh, bus garage, and again, we have. One, two, three, four contractors and some farewell bids, and I'll let since Mike's here, I'll let him let him talk. Yeah, this is nowhere near as exciting as a Gaga bid. I'll give you <laughs> give you what we know. We'll have music. <laughs> uh, we have, I mean, we did we did have we got pretty competitive bids for that the storage building, and uh, Dutchman Contracting was the, the low contractor. Um, the reason that we have an, an alternate that we want to accept, which is to, to demolish the original one over at Guth, the reason that that was an alternate was because Jeff had reached out to a couple of local companies to see if we could have it reclaimed at no cost. And either it's not old enough or desirable enough for anyone to want to do it for free. So we put it on there as an alternate. and. Uh, as soon as we have the new one built and emptied, we're going to have the same contractor take that one down and reseed that area. So uh, we're asking for the board to consider accepting the Dutchman bid, uh, base bid and alternate, which would equal 196977 And I believe we had an estimate on there of 250 So that worked out pretty good for the amount of storage we're getting. Uh, we did have a couple of requirements to add from East Rock Hill Township that we got in through Addenda, so they we were uh, able to competitively bid the a little bit of electrical. One was a, a smoke detector, and maybe half a dozen lights just to, for safety reasons, because that building's going to be unconditioned and unoccupied, other than tires and brakes for the bus. So, so uh, again, we're we're requesting that this be put on the agenda for approval uh, in April, and then. That particular project, because there's no kids at that site, we can start whenever we have the approvals and contracts process. So, you know, we think the only issue that we may have is inspection for the buses over the summer. We're hoping it's not going to take that long, but we have plenty of room to get the contractors in around that. So, the sooner we get it approved, the sooner we can get them in and out of there, 
and the bus uh, transportation department will have that whole lot to themselves for the rest of the summer. So if there's any questions, we can go over that now. I'd like to hear now. Two questions. One is, do you have any experience with Dutchman? That's not a contracting firm that I call. But, and the we, other question, I'm sorry. And the other question is, um, obviously, that it is significantly lower than the other three. Um, do we believe that they understand fully what they are expected to do? As we do with all of our contractors, especially ones that we have no real uh, experience with. This was limited. This is kind of an atypical construction type. We don't typically do pole buildings. These four contractors specialize in just doing what they're from like central PA. Um, I did ask all the questions about the paving was included and the concrete was included and what type of siding and the whole system and he had all the right answers. He has the, the qualifications match what we're asking for in the spec. We don't have any real reason to, to disqualify him. Um, he did say he had a couple things that he'd like to present to us at our pre-construction meeting to give us a little bit nicer of a building than what we had detailed. I think that has more to do with the metal. If they buy that in bulk, they get cheaper prices so we may get a little bit thicker of a metal siding than what we had specified, only because it, he has um, better access to it. So we'll see what that is, but we have our, our criteria in there and that's what we'll hold them to. So, um, experience, no, but his references checked out and they, they seem to meet everything that we need to have done for that project. Anybody else? Okay, so this, you want, this will be on the April agenda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, uh, number six. District-wide phone system RFP results. Well, I said Diane's gonna gonna talk about this, uh, where we're at in the system, the, uh, with the phone system project at this time. Um, so we'll let Diane um, give an update and then we'll certainly uh, answer questions and um, try to try to uh, get you guys up to speed with where we're at in, this, in the project. So thank you. So um, what I want to present tonight is really just an update of where we are in the whole process. We're not really ready with full results and a full recommendation at this point, but we want to bring you guys up to date so you can live this wonderful process with us a little bit here. So at the beginning of March, we went out with an RFP, a targeted RFP to um, the top two manufacturers that we had um, uh, identified that um, met all of our qualifications, um, everything that we wanted to um, be able to uh, get from a phone system. So we came up with uh, the top two vendors, which were Cisco and Mitel. Um, we went with that, we um, sent the RFP out to three vendors each, three um, partners of Cisco and Mitel. Uh, the results came back in on 329, which was last Wednesday. We looked through the results and we picked the top two uh, vendors, the top vendor, the top partner, I should say, from each manufacturer. Um, at that point, we felt that we had some questions that needed clarification on, so we had a meeting with both of the vendors and we allowed them to come in and we had a dialogue at that point between, um, you know, the district, the internal team, and their team, so we could, uh, you know, straighten some things out that we weren't maybe 100% sure of. We gave them a chance to clarify them um, some things. Um, at this point, we're still in kind of a conversation mode with them. Uh, we're you know, trying to get the best pricing possible now between the two of them. Um, things that we're working on as far as considerations are obviously cost, but we're also looking at their support model. We're looking at their um, maintenance model. We're making sure that all the features and functionality that we had identified in the proposal are being met, and if they're not being met, was it a critical um, request or was it something that we could maybe you know not have especially in the beginning we're looking at manufacturer repu um, reputation we're looking at total cost of ownership so at this point um, we don't really have a recommendation to bring to you at this moment so what our plan would be at this point is to bring the recommendation at the May facilities meeting 
Um, we'll provide you with updates as we go along between now and then so you can have a chance to take a look at whatever you know, documentation that we can give you so we can get any questions fielded and then we would hope to take it to um, a, a, the voting meeting in May rather than in April. We just felt like we were a little too crunched for time and we obviously, it's a big outlay here and we want to make sure we make the right decision. So that's why we kind of um, ex expanded it a little bit or extended the time period a little bit. So that's where we are. So questions? So I don't have a prepared question, but what, what if, I may have missed your time frame. When, when are you going to come back again, and when will we, or when would you like this to come before uh, the board to, uh, which, which month agenda? Is this is going to be a summer project? Is that what you guys are thinking? Because I can't, I can't remember where, where we were with that, or are with that. So at this point, we're hoping, um, I'm confident that within the next two weeks, we'll be able to actually make a recommendation and choose the vendor at that point. So we would bring the recommendation to the facilities meeting um, in May, and then go for a vote at the May board meeting. Do you think there's any value to having the people you're talking to come to the meeting? in case we have questions about the system or because we're kind of relying on you guys to buy the system and I know uh, I think Dr. Shai did a nice presentation once recently that, uh, where the representative dialed in was on the screen some good questions mm -hmm. came up we were able to get the answer uh, so I'm just was wondering if that's something that you guys have considered at least or you don't think we, we need to do that no, I think we could certainly have the vendor that we are recommending, especially, you know, come before you so you can fire away your questions because obviously they'll be more of the expert at it than we are. Um, so, you know, at that point, I think that's a great idea. Are they local type people or are they, where are they, are, are you dealing with them in person or over the telephone or Skyping? How, how are you doing that? How are you, go, how are you getting your, your information right now? I'm sorry, I keep playing with the microphone, that's why I'm um, smiling up here. No, we're face-to-face um, -face with them, Barry. Um, the one vendor is from Warminster, and the one vendor is from, where are they from? The Pottstown area. So two local vendors, face-to-face. -face. Okay, so we'll have more time for, to ask questions as it develops. So there, does anyone else have any questions? At this point? Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. I would like to add, Barry, oh. that uh, Lehigh Valley and Dewey put a lot of time into this, and so does Sean, myself, and Mike, and Diane, but Diane is really taking us by the reins. And this, this is now a phone expert. Yeah. And there's a lot involved besides just the phone, because uh, it all goes in with her servers and, and all that. So she really, really done a good job bringing this information. Okay, thanks. Well, thank you, Jeff, for that, too. And yes, do we and Lehigh Valley, so they can be on site, you know, during that meeting as well. Okay, well, that concludes our facilities part of the meeting. So we'll do any questions, uh, public comment? Mrs. Furlong, it's just you out there. Yeah, I'm not tonight. Okay. So we're going to jump right into the next meeting, then, the finance meeting. Again,